Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and sorry you guys haven't seen me for a while, but I had the flu, post CES bug got me, but I'm back now. We've got a series of good smartphones, tablets, and some notebooks coming at you soon, too. Today we're looking at the Samsung Ative Odyssey. This is available on Verizon, and this is not the same thing as the Ative S, which is pretty much a Samsung Galaxy S3 only running Windows Phone 8. This guy's a little bit lower end, but still very portable, 4 inches, bright Super AMOLED display. It's only $49 on contract, and we're going to look at it now. So here we have the Samsung Ative Odyssey. It's available now on Verizon Wireless, $49.99 with contract, so obviously very affordable. Also, a, quite a small phone, 4 inch display. This is a Super AMOLED display, so easy on the hands, easy on the pocket. Those of you who really hate large phones, that's an important option. It's running Windows Phone 8, the latest, greatest version of the operating system out of Redmond for smartphones. And this is a Super AMOLED display, so you get those typically very vivid colors, fairly bright looking display. Uh, still, it's a pentile matrix, so text can look a little bit grainy compared to some other displays. I think a lot of people really don't notice the difference. And this is just running at 800 by 480 resolution, so not particularly high resolution here. Obviously, this is, this is a mid-range to low-end phone. This is not a high-end phone with the top dog specs. Still, inside you get some of the things that you would expect to see in a top-quality Windows Phone 8 device, and that's a 1.5 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 CPU, dual-core. Pretty much every Windows Phone 8 device is going to run on that CPU, so really you're not giving up anything in terms of horsepower, even if you get a less expensive device. We have a gig of RAM and only 8 gigs of internal storage. Ouch, not very much, especially for a very music and video centric phone. Of those 8 gigs, about 5.3 are available for your use, but don't lament just yet. Right here on the side, we have a micro SD card slot. Very shiny plastic, a little hard to read that word, micro SD right there, but there it is, works just fine. Up to cards at 64 gigs, that's SDXC in capacity. And we have a 32 gig card in here, and it's also worked fine with our 64 gig card. And there's our slot with our card in there. All our musics, all, all of our videos, all appear automatically in the respective players. So that works out fine, and it makes it a little bit less painful that this phone does not have very much storage. Speaking of Samsung, it wouldn't be a Samsung if it wasn't shiny and fairly plasticky. Shiny, chromey sides here. Here's our volume control up top, so a 3.5 millimeter jack. There's our power button on this side, and here's the dedicated camera buttons requirement for Windows Phone to have that. The back is the usual Samsung brushed faux metal plastic, very, very glossy, a bit slippery. And then we've got the little accented look for the speaker grill over here. And yes, the back is removable, good times there. Yank it off from the grab point right here. Usual plastic thin battery door. There is our micro SIM card slot for Verizon's LTE network. This is LTE with 3D, 3G EVDO Reve. Also has GSM roaming capabilities, typical of Verizon's most recent phones. And there's our 2100 milliamp removable battery, so you can take out the battery and swap in a new one. In a way, that's obviously an advantage over the high end Nokia Lumia 920 on AT&T. There's our little speaker right there, you can see. So the big grill that goes across is a little bit more for looks and helps spread the sound out. The speaker itself is obviously not as big as the grill that's on the back cover. And while we're looking at the back here, big old Verizon logo that we all know and maybe or maybe not love so much. A little Windows Phone logo down here. 5 megapixel camera here with an LED flash, so a mid-level quality camera on there. And we've got our front camera as well for video chat right on the front there, and that works with Skype and with other applications as well, but I think Skype's probably most folks' go-to choice on Windows Phone. As you can see, typical Windows Phone 8 UI here, which is a lot like also Windows Phone 7 UI. Live tiles, very fast, very responsive. Never have we had a problem with the speed of Windows Phone. Very, very responsive, quick operating system. And here's our list of all applications that we have installed right here. Windows Phone does not tend to get a lot of bloatware, so that's a good thing. You're not going to see a whole lot of extra junk on here. And if there's anything on here that you don't want, you can actually remove it. Slacker Radio is pre-installed. VZ Navigator, I think some people are actually going to want that for spoken turn-by-turn -turn directions. Bing Maps is on here. It doesn't speak to you, though, so you actually have to look at the screen. But haha, -ha, here's a neat thing. Because Nokia and Microsoft partnered for the mapping solution, they've actually made Nokia Maps, Nokia Drive Beta, available on all Windows Phone 8 devices now. So you can actually 
that's a real value added that Nokia phones used to have. Download that and put that on here and you can get spoken turn by turn directions and POIs and all that kind of thing right on your Samsung branded phone. Cool. You can see we've got the usual office suite here, OneNote Mobile also available. Verizon likes to put that NFL Mobile on there. Again, if you don't want it, you can remove it. If you love it, good for you. And there's a couple of Samsung apps on here. Mini Diary, that's an application that we have seen on Android phones. So you can tap to add a photo and either use a photo picker, pick a really not very exciting picture that we took previously, and we can tap, tap and add some text. Exciting text. So you get the idea. Pictures, typing, audio notes. You can do a little drawing on there. That's your mini diary. In terms of other apps available from Samsung right here, we've got their chat on, which is sort of like iMessage. It's uh, basically text chatting over IP, so you don't have to use a text message plan to do that. We've got Samsung Now. We've got their photo editor that's installed. I'll show that to you their own music hub in case you want to purchase music from them. Mini Diary we saw and a little RSS reader for those of you who like RSS news read and uh, Beauty which is the only camera lens right now, that's what they call it Windows Phone Lens. These are little enhancements for your camera application that can give you special effects and stuff. And this one helps remove imperfections on people's faces. So if you have a friend who just had an outbreak of zits, it can help with that. Now if we take a look at Samsung's photo editor, it's actually a pretty capable little photo editor here. We're just going to pick a picture of our antique Gibson guitar. So you can do things like edit it, which means resize it, rotate it, crop it, which we're not going to do to it right now, color effects. So we can go with auto brightness. Sure, why not? Perks it up a little bit. That's good. We'll save that. Effects here, we can go vintage since it's a vintage guitar. Let's give that a try. Okay, we have a funky color thing going on now. Don't think I'm going to save that. Decorations, which means frames and stickers and multi grid, you can put other pictures in here with it. So there it is. It's available for free on the phone, the Samsung application. The rest of the stuff on here is your standard Microsoft stuff. We've got our usual. Big dialer here with access to call history. The live tile on the front shows us if we've missed any calls since we just went in there. It's cleared out that notification that we had one missed call. Your text messaging right here, your regular email. And you can set up your Gmail on this, Exchange Mail, Pop3, Hotmail. Pretty much everything is well supported. It even does Gmail with push. And obviously it's going to do Hotmail just fine too and Windows Live Mail. We've got an IE10 mobile here, capable browser. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Same as it is on every other Windows phone though. The store that we just saw, that's where you're going to download applications for this, and you can also buy music and the music and video player. And right now it's going to show us stuff that we have installed on our SD card. Not a terribly loud speaker on this. And we're at 24 out of 30 on the volume level right now. But the quality isn't too bad. Certainly not hissy or tinny as phones go. And it can play in the background, so all we have to do is hit home and do something else in the work. And if we hit the volume buttons, it'll bring up the controls. Now for video playback, you can play video up to 1080p. That obviously wildly exceeds the resolution of the display, so there's really no need for that kind of thing. But we've got our 1080p Avengers trailer here, and you can see the bright, vivid colors of the Super AMOLED display here. And see, so here we are playing our 1080p trailers, playing just fine. The phone can play WMV video and MPEG-4, H.264 based video, pretty much standard as other smartphones. And we're playing this right off the card, like I said, so no need to worry about using up your internal storage for videos. As you can see right here, the phone has LTE 4G. Reception on this is average among Verizon phones. Not bad, not better than average. Voice quality, however, is very good. Nice and full and particularly loud through the earpiece. Surprisingly good there. Data speeds have not been so exceptional for us, but that seems to be a Windows phone on Verizon thing, at least in terms of what speedtest.net is measuring. And we'll do a speed test right now. This is the same speedtest.net that's available on iOS and Android as well.
ping times are pretty decent, but download and upload speeds are not what we usually see on Verizon's network. Not sure if that's an issue with speedtest.net, again, on Verizon phones, or on Verizon Windows phones, that is, or if this is just really an issue with the phones. Experiential speed, though, when downloading web pages and stuff like that feels just fine. And there's our final score that is not super duper impressive. And that's about what we've been seeing in our area. Now again, we don't have full bars here, but we do have about three out of five bars of reception. Like all Windows 8 phones, this has NFC, mostly good for transferring files right now with NFC capable other phones and computers, particularly Windows 8 computers often come with NFC now. You have dual band Wi-Fi 802.11bg and here and Bluetooth 3.0. And of course, the usual GPS. And here we have the Samsung Ative Odyssey next to the Nokia Lumia 822, both available on Verizon. Now, here's the kicker the Lumia 822 is now free on Verizon. It's also available in red for Valentine's Day. Ooh, ah. And as you can see, it's a little bit bigger. It's 4.3 inches. You also get a better 8 megapixel camera with the Carl Zeiss lens and twice the internal storage. So, actually, for free, versus 49 bucks on uh, for the Samsung. The Lumia looks like the better deal. The Lumia also has a removable back and battery too. Neither of them is the most exciting looking phone to be honest. This is pretty much your basic black right here. Then we have your basic shiny, super shiny Samsung back going on this guy right th there. But they both rem offer SD card slots, removable backs, and removable batteries. Now for the web browsing experience, this is only an 800 by 480 resolution display so you're not going to get so much on screen and text is obviously going to be a little small until you zoom in and we're on our own website, Mobile Tech Review. Very fast, very fluid. Yes, you certainly can read the text once you zoom in. And IE10 does a very good job of handling most desktop layouts and it supports HTML5 video but not Adobe Flash Player. Now we'll te test a streaming video. Our YouTube format video review of the Lenovo ThinkPad Helix. And it automatically full screens, which is good. And we're doing this over Verizon's LTE network, so despite the slow benchmark speeds for data, it actually does a fine job when it comes to streaming. Plays fine, looks fine, sounds fine. And now we're in the photo application. Again, this has a 5 megapixel rear main camera with LED flash. Not bad pictures. Colors are reasonably decent, sometimes tend to blow out in good light. It can shoot 1080p video at 30 frames per second. We found it actually did a little bit of smoother job with lower light indoors versus outdoors. Pretty weird. So here for photo settings here, we have focus mode, normal or macro your options, anti-shake, White balance, ISO, EV, effects, washed out, vintage, warm, cold, so on. And your resolution. So basic effects are nothing too fancy going on. And if we take a picture of our little friend over here. Now you've got tap to focus, which does a better job. Otherwise, who knows that sometimes it can be a little out of focus. And then we use the button, take the picture fairly quick. And if we hit that, we can actually look at the photo that we've taken in all of its glory. And if we want to shoot video, you can see the video settings here, white balance, effects, resolution, that's it. And we are recording video. It's pretty sharp and pretty colorful. Not too bad. And then we're going to test gaming with a game called Cracking Sands. Here we are, a top-down driving game, accelerometer-based controls.
playing pretty smoothly. And while you won't see all the same game titles that you see on iOS or Android, there are plenty of good games to play on Windows Phone. Some with Xbox Live integration. So there's gaming on the Samsung Ative Odyssey. So that's the Samsung Ative Odyssey. It's available now for $49 with contract. And its biggest problem, other than those of you who really like small phones, because, well, this definitely is one of the few small smartphones on the market, is the Nokia Lumia 822, also available on Verizon for free with contract. Better specs there, bigger screen. Mm, hurts it a little bit. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Visit our website for the full review of the Ative Odyssey, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.